To many, it might seem a cruel sight. A small herd of about two dozen buffalo being kept in a pen without shelter from the elements. The wind chill on this day in January was at least 20 below zero. A neighbor who asked not to be identified had notified the Madison County Sheriff's Department. I don't see any shelter for these buffalo. No way for them to get out of the wind, especially a day like today. Madison County Under Sheriff John Ball tells me the owner of the buffalo lives in a different county and he would not identify him. Ball said, we go by what the law requires. We can't say they're being abused. The laws, it, they're archaic. They really are um, for New York State. Dee Schaefer of the Wanderer's Rest Animal Shelter became aware of the complaints about the buffalo, but says when it comes to livestock, many animal cruelty laws just do not apply. As a shelter for livestock, for companion animals, dogs and cats, there's nothing we can do to help them. Onondaga County animal cruelty investigator Paul Morgan was contacted by the sheriff's investigator, but Morgan says the state agriculture and markets law requires food, water, and access to medical care, but it does not require shelter for livestock. So we're looking at buffalo, um, any type of cattle type of situation, even horses, okay? There is no shelter laws out there for those animals, okay? It does, the law does not say those animals must have shelter. Article 26 of the State Agriculture and Markets Law covers cruelty to animals. A lot of people think these laws are antiquated. What do you think? It, it is. It's, uh, it needs to be, uh, it really needs to be updated. It needs to be uh, um, maybe tweaked a little bit on the way that things are set in each law. For all animals, there should be some type of shelter, um, especially horses. Addressing the problem of cruelty to farm animals would come under the jurisdiction of legislators here in Albany. Downstate Assemblywoman Joan Millman has introduced what she calls the Prevention of Farm Animal Cruelty Act. For two years, the legislation has been tied up in the Assembly Agriculture Committee. Millman was not available for an interview, but her bill says the purpose of the act is to safeguard farm animals from inhumane treatment or living conditions. The bill is mainly aimed at large factory farms classified as concentrated animal feeding operations or CAFOs. The New York Farm Bureau, however, feels that the Farm Animal Cruelty Act is unnecessary. Well, it's certainly well-intentioned because certainly they have animal care at heart of the bill, and so do our farmers. You know, they pay very close attention and want to make sure that their animals are well cared for. So what about the buffalo being penned up outside in the cold weather? It, it may all depend on, on the situation, but, you know, a lot of, a lot of farm animals live outside. I mean, animals in general, you know, in, in the wild live outside. But I think ag and markets, being able to, to regulate animal welfare is really the best place for it. But there is also a movement to take animal cruelty laws out of the hands of the Department of Agriculture and Markets and turn them into penal laws to be enforced by local police. The Farm Bureau opposes those efforts as well. Reporting from Albany, I'm Jim Kenyon.